Hi, Nina. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you, Lyric? It's a beautiful day. I love spring. Mm, our, it's, spring it's really nice. our spring has been really beautiful. Where are you? Mobile, Alabama. Mm -hmm. To be quarantined right now, the weather has just been beautiful. It's been cool, just a touch cool. Usually we're... We're usually up in the 90s right now, aren't we? Yeah. And I'm north of you a little bit, but I know by May, it's always, I've all put away all my jeans, all my, <laughs> anything that's sweaty. And I could put on a sweater this morning if I open the windows back up. Right. Uh, yesterday and the day before, I don't think it got over 72 degrees here. It was marvelous. Isn't it though? It is so nice. In the back of my mind, I'm feeling sorry for the people up north who are dying for 70 degree days, but I'm like, oh, this is the best. <laughs> yes, it's lovely. How was your Mother's Day? Mother's Day was good. It was a little emotional. I um, lost my mom a year ago, so um, yeah, it was, um, but we got through it, and my daughter and her husband are living here locally right now. He's gone back to a specialized school that we happen to have here in Mobile. So the two little boys and they came over. So it was wonderful. It was nice. 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 Happy. It's, it's so good to see kids grown up. And then it's so good to be with family and share those happy memories of your loved ones that are gone. You know, it's funny, no matter what mood you're in, those little boys come over or you go to their house and it's, it instantly cheers you up. Okay. You know, it's that saying, if I knew grandkids were so wonderful, I would have had them first. Oh, my mom, yes. She says it's that true. all the time. I would have skipped straight to the grandkids. <laughs> I would have gone straight to them. But yeah, they're, I look forward to my son having kids and yeah, it's, it's great. Good. How have you been coping during the last month and a half or so? You know, honestly, in the beginning, I really got into a bit of a tailspin, bit of a slump. Um, and I just started sewing. I, I did a um, sew along with Gudrun. Yeah, yeah. Lines, uh, did her Elvira, and that kind of got me going again a little bit and uh, just did her hope um, last, last weekend. Uh, so I made the hope one as a I spy quilt for my grandsons. And you know, just, just fun things, not things that I have to do, just fun things. Uh -huh. And it's uh, um, just, I know some people say, just sew something together. <laughs> and you know, so it was sewing with a little bit of a purpose and it was, it was good. And it was kind of nice to, for so long, sometimes it's so nice when, when people like you and me who design most of our own work, right? Mm -hmm. Have somebody else do all the brain work for you. And you can just, you can just do something. And, and for creatives, I think being able to do that, just sew something together because sewing is our, our creativity and our comfort. Um, doing it without the pressure is very soothing. Yeah, just following along. Yeah, and I'll put Gudrun's link down here so other people can check her out. She and you and I and Bonnie Hunter, who I talked to a little bit yeah. ago, all taught together at a fabulous symposium just north of New Orleans last year, year before, I don't remember. Last March, March a year ago. Look at you, you can even remember the month. <laughs> I'm like, was it five years ago or this year? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was last year. They do it every yeah. other every other year. And, yeah. you know, as quilters, I don't know if you were this way too. I love my quilters. I, it's like the best playtime ever to be in a class with quilters. But then when you're teaching at a conference, being with the other quilters is wow. even better. I love quilt teachers. You guys are the best. Well... And the quilters, there's just no better people than quilters. Not just the teachers, but the students. I mean, they're, especially in an environment like that, they're there because they want to learn. Right. And it, it's just, they're just the best people. They are. They're, they are the best people. Kind and generous and a heart full of love. Every single one of them. They I are. Love them. 
Yeah. yeah. But then after class, I think, I think talking it out, I just figured out why I enjoy the quilt teachers so much. It's because we've been working all day and we're still quilters and still with amazing quilters, but we get to be off <laughs> after being you know, on for six yeah. hours. <laughs> and there is a difference. You do have to be on so much. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like performing as much it is, as it is teaching because you don't want the the kids, the the quilters to get bored and right. you, you know no matter how you feel the show must go on so I right after my mom passed last year I had an, a teaching engagement in Missouri mm. and it she passed on a Monday and I was teaching the Monday Tuesday Wednesday of the following week so I drove and left all my stuff, all my teaching stuff. I got halfway there, had to turn around and get it. But when I got there, it was, it was good for me to do what I love to do. Even though, you know, I wasn't all there, but right. you know, still they were so loving and so understanding. And it was just, it was just nice to be with my people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Totally get that because I feel the same way. That's been one of the hardest things for me with this is I didn't realize how much I looked forward to every trip I take. Mm -hmm. and, because usually you're working so hard as a quilt right. teacher. We are making supplies, we're signing contracts, we're making um, travel plans, we are, I order boxes of supplies and ship them ahead and pack all the 50 pound suitcases to get on the plane. <laughs> Um, and I'm still talking to my people, but yeah. I miss going and, and seeing them all together in a room. This is, this is a hard adjustment, isn't it? It is hard. It's very hard to do everything virtually now is, it's different. It is. Different. It is. Yeah. different. Although now that everything's starting to pivot, pivot, um, I'm, I feel like I have purpose again. Yeah. So I'm getting ready for a couple gigs and good. wake up feeling good again <laughs> instead of mm, pushing through the not feeling good and then feeling good. So it makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we do. Um, what, what else? Have you been working on anything else recently? Um, you know, I've done a couple of just absolutely fun projects. Um, I'm in an art group and we are doing a project on bugs and I was so excited about this and it's gotten pushed back and pushed back and pushed back so um I finished my bug it it's contoed, everything the it's there's all of this is tensile thread oh cool hologram thread whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. um, sparkly but it, yeah it's real sparkly and so this is my beetle. They're all beetles, all different kinds. Um, so it's going to look like a bug collection That's when we cool. hang it up on the wall. I adore coccinalia um, beetles and have, yeah. I did a whole um, pattern line of embroidery patterns for mm -hmm. all kinds of longhorn beetles and shield bugs are my favorite here they're just like brown boring stink bugs but i have pages of the most gloriously covered shield bugs colored that i like who knew, who knew? <laughs> out there I mean, bugs can be beautiful they are they are they are yeah so, anything else um i just did a fun project with glow in the dark thread this is all glow in the dark thread so when my grandson hangs it up on his wall, he's two and a half. <laughs> when, he, when he goes to bed at night, all of this is going to just glow. I have a picture of it. I'll, I'll send it to you of it glowing. It's, that is um, so much fun. Yeah. Do you do it on your domestic machine or do you have a mid arm or a long arm? Um, I am a domestic quilter, but I do have a sit down long arm, which is basically the same principles. Yeah. Um, just room just a lot of room that's it um so it's i i'm i'm tempted i have the bernina q20 mm -hmm. and on the facebook 
group. I've been hearing all these people putting their Q20 on a frame. And anyway, I just, I would need the space. It's tempting, but. I find when I thought about getting something on a frame, because I have a, I have a handy quilter, um, mm -hmm. sit down sit as down. well. Mm -hmm. that I don't think there's any way it would work for me because I'm scatterbrained ADD and I work on this for a minute, then I work on that for a minute, then I work on something else. And I couldn't and that, get things on and off the frame. Right. And that's the, that I have that same problem because I've, I've been working on this on and off mm -hmm. and I'm also doing one for my other grandson, but I also have another, a ruler sample that I'm working on. So you know, you work on what you want to work on at the moment, but on a frame, you can't do that. Yeah. So and I did, I did, I have quilted two pieces on a long arm, regular bed quilts. And it was, for my body, fantastic. I mean, the thing, you can move it barely with two fingers. Um, but <laughs> I didn't even have room to quilt the whole block in a row that I was doing. Oh, yeah. So I just, I guess, um, with these sit down long arms like you and I have, I can go whoosh and go in a big diagonal if I want and then oh, go absolutely. in the other directions. So it, I love that there are so many different kinds of fabulous tools and so many different kinds of fabulous quilting and quilters. There's the ADD brain is good for this field, right? Because right there's never something to get bored with. There's so many other things out there. And when I teach a lot of, um, several, a lot of my classes are really, I just want to get the blinders off of people. Take your blinders off, give yourself the grace to learn something new because it's not going to be perfect. And, and try it, just play with it, have fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it never will because right. we're not perfect beings. So it's not going to be perfect made from our hands. And right. I can point out in my soapbox, I can point out all these mistakes on both these things I just showed you, but I'm not going to because they're for fun. <laughs> yeah. And, and don't, you don't have to either. I mean, no. there, there are times where I have everybody in my class stand up and say, repeat after me. Thank you. <laughs> 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 just practice in front of a mirror just do the gracious southern woman thing and say thank you i have the thank repeat after me too <laughs> today i'm tr learning something new and it will not fix and i'm okay with that yeah we call it making bad art and kindergarten finger painting in my <laughs> classes um you know, on purpose, you know, I give the same huge lecture at the beginning of class that you right. probably do saying, mm -hmm. give yourself permission to be imperfect and make a mess. This is the perfect time and place to do it. What's the worst that could happen? You yeah. you learn something is what I learn something. I, I'm, I'm learning something new right now. I am not a hand stitcher. I don't do a whole lot of hand embroidery, never have, but I'm doing something these um sue spargo has a sew along thing going on oh, well hold them right up to the camera so i can see one of them that's done can you see it oh hold it right there really still for a minute the sunflower is gorgeous and is that all embroidery thread or are there beads in there no there's no beads it's all hand embroidered it looks fabulous but i have her book and um I, I just, I've always wanted to do one of these penny quilts. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I just think they're so cool looking. So I'm way far behind. There's 90 of them and I'm on seven. Doesn't matter. It can be, I find, right. I find handwork, which I don't really do much of in my quilting. Yeah, I don't either. I would never get anything done that way, but I find handwork my perfect to go when I'm bored sitting on a plane or oh, yeah. watching, you know, the rest of the family can sit there and watch TV and after 10 minutes, I'm like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's a great movie, but I have to be moving or else I, so I'm, I do I'm, handwork and I can make it through the whole movie. Yeah, I'm the same way. I have to be moving and all of that, so. Right. And, and that also, could be a five-year project and it will serve its purpose of, <laughs> And it might be I'm occupied. It's okay. It's totally okay. This will be my plane project. 
there you, you know, I'm, I'm an educator for Wonderful Threads, and Wonderful mm -hmm. Threads makes all, all of the Sue Spargo threads. Cool. So it will just be a sampler that I work on for That's years. That's fabulous. That's <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> um, two last questions. Yes. What are you looking forward to? And um, what advice might you give any, any of our favorite people, the quilters out there? Um, my favorite piece of advice is to just enjoy the process. Enjoy whatever you're working on. Enjoy the mistakes. Learn from them, but keep on going. My least favorite tool is Jack the Ripper. And, you know, when I'm teaching a thread painting class, they bring it and I encourage them not to take it out. Do something else with it. Mm -hmm. um, so just enjoy the process. Don't be so hard on yourself. And what am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to 2021. All my teaching engagements have gotten postponed. So... I'm starting to enjoy this time right now and just doing fun things and just relaxing, not getting all uptight. And um, yeah. yeah, getting out Take and teaching. Take a pause. This, yeah, this pause has been good. Good, good. Nina, it has been delightful to see you again. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to chat with me for a few minutes. Lyric, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to get to know you last year, and I look forward to teaching with you again. We will see each other at some point in the future. We will. Yes, Take we care. will. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.